Hey guys, Bloody Droid here, and I'm here with the probably the final part of doing the Elite Four for Pokemon Moon, and we have um I can't remember her name the the Wind Trainer of the Elite Four, and then whoever is actually gonna show up when I'm up uh, because I'm already the champion, so every time you're the champion, it's a, usually a different person, but. Most likely it's probably going to be Ryuki, that one, like, dragon trainer, who is really weird in my opinion. But first, we have, I'm pretty sure, like, it's Kahili. And, yeah, Kahili. Every time I battle this trainer, I always find her first Pokemon, the Skarmory. Her least, like, my least favorite because it has Sturdy, so I can just never one-shot it. But it's, like, impossible for me to low enough damage to not one-shot it. So right there, but then she's gonna heal after it. And... Yeah, so... But hey, who wouldn't do that? Alright. And that's pretty much the hard part, by the way. Now I'm gonna use Ice Beam when it comes to the rest of her Pokemon. Okariko is also actually going to be a because it's probably going to use Revelation Dance, which is actually super effective. I'm not going to die from it, but it's annoying because she also was attacks first. Oh. Or she's going to use Teeter Dance, because that makes sense. She's never done that before. guys I'm back actually my phone got cut off my phone died while I was in the middle of recording so I'm gonna add this to an existing clip if there's any cut that's the reason why but we'll continue walk where we are we just defeated Kahili I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name but now we're gonna go defend our title of Pokemon champion of Alola which were awesome most likely by Ryuki if it's someone else, that would be definitely interesting. 
Because I'm pretty sure I've actually met all the other people who could possibly battle him. Like how... Like the school kid from... Route 1. One of the kahunas from Pony Island. There's some other stuff. Oh, we're gonna battle how. Yes, that is definitely interesting. At least it's different than Ryuki because he's kind of boring. I don't know why, but I've actually always kind of liked how he had like an interesting battle technique. He was always positive, but as you got through the story, you kind of like kind of got more negative, like positive, negative, however you want to call that. Hmm. Probably should change Pokemon. I don't know what it'll change to though. We're gonna hit it with a forest spear because it doesn't have much health left. Sorry if my DS as well. I actually record this with my phone and I kind of have the DS a bit farther away from it so when I touch it, it moves. Sorry if that kind of messes you up. I'll try not to do that. Later. Oh, she's not going to she's just going to come in. Around 11.40. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, crap, I click keep battling. The only spore sphere is super effective. Almost to having a, like a fifth level 100. I played this too much. I've probably actually played this more than any other Pokemon game. I've played for a total of like 160 hours, which is for some people that's not a lot, but I mean it kind of is. All right, so I set up the curly claw for this. He's setting up Kudamo. You know what, actually, I'm going to battle right now. Battle. Let's see how good it looks. That looks so weird without the flame going off, which was like, it was like in the other games, with the flame just always on. It's overheat. Explosion's dead. Alright. So now I'm bringing finish him. Let's make it an evolution battle. Oh, 
No thanks, it's gonna do nothing. That did like no damage. Okay, so I'm awesome. Let's we'll finish us off with a Z move. And now, we are amazing. Congratulations, I defended my turtle. And well guys, I'm gonna end the video here.